So you're in the market for a new microphone. I am convinced that these two microphones by Rode are the most versatile microphones I have ever used. They also happen to be some of the cheapest microphones I have ever used. And I think for 99% of videographers, these two microphones are all you will ever need. So let's first talk about these little guys right here. This is the Rode Wireless Go system. These are wireless lav mics, but what makes this unique is everything is kind of built in. Each one of these units has a built-in battery. They both charge with USB-C, but the transmitter also comes with a mic installed in the unit itself. You can actually see it right here on the top. Now, if you wanna use this as a standard pack, you can plug in a standard wired lav mic to this. It's just like what I'm wearing right here. I have a Sennheiser system on right now. And this can work just like that, but I actually find myself just attaching this directly to my shirt all the time. I agree it's a little bit big, but it's so convenient. You just turn both of these units on, they automatically connect to each other, and they just work. This is the receiving side here, and as you can see, it has this little clip on the back. This clip perfectly fits in a standard hot shoe, so it will just mount right on top of your camera like that. And then with this headphone jack here, you simply plug it into the mic port on your camera. We've been using this system for a few months now and I love it. The battery life is great. We've never had an issue with static. And best of all, this system only costs $200. I cannot believe it is this cheap. I'm currently being recorded on the Sennheiser G4 system with the upgraded MKE2 microphone. I think all in we're at like eight or $900 for this system. I have to admit, the Rode Wireless Go does not sound as good. You'll be able to hear it in just one second, but for $200, oh my gosh, you cannot beat the price. Next, let's talk about Rode's newest microphone. This is the VideoMic NTG, and this is probably the most versatile microphone I have ever seen in my life. It comes with a standard hot shoe mount, so if you're looking for a microphone that you could mount on top of a camera, this works right out of the box. I personally don't do that very often because the mic's not close enough to the subject, so I like booming my mics. You simply get a longer cable and you can mount this up above your subject or below your subject. We're gonna do that in just one second so you can hear what this sounds like. And you could get great sounding audio that goes directly into a camera or an external device. Now this mic also has one other incredible application. You can use this as a digital microphone directly into a computer as well. As you can see on the side of this thing, we have a USB type C port. You charge this microphone through that port, but you can also connect it to a computer. So if you're looking for a high quality microphone that you can do podcasts or Skype calls or voice over with, this microphone is going to work right out of the box for that as well. Not only can it send out a digital signal over USB type C, but it can also send out an analog signal at the exact same time. So if you wanted to monitor your audio while you were recording on a computer, you could record the audio digitally and listen to it directly through this microphone with headphones plugged right into it. That's so awesome. On the back of this microphone is a gain knob. So no matter how close this is to your subject, you can get the perfect audio level. You'll also notice that it has a digital power button. And the reason for that is this thing can turn itself on and off automatically. I don't know how it works, but if you plug this into a camera and turn the camera on, this microphone knows and it will turn itself on. And when you turn that camera off, it will automatically turn itself off to conserve battery. This mic also has other crazy features as well. You can set it to negative 20 decibels if you're recording something that's getting loud and you don't want it to clip, you can set that. It also has this other option for dual level output. So it's going to send a higher signal to the left channel than it does to the right channel. So if the left channel clips, it's not going to clip in the right channel. It's just going to give you options when you get into post. That's incredible. It also has two high pass filters and a high frequency boost. If you happen to use a windscreen like this or a dead cat, sometimes the sound will be a little bit more muffled when you have one of these on top. Turning this on will bring those highs back and it's going to make your audio sound even better. All right, let's take a listen to all three microphones. I have two lav mics here and then I have the video mic NTG right above me. All right, let's take a listen to all three microphones. I have two lav mics here and then I have the video mic NTG right above me. All right, let's take a listen to all three microphones. I have two lav mics here and then I have the video mic NTG right above me. 
Now, even though the VideoMic NTG is significantly further away from my mouth than these two lav mics, I think it sounds significantly better. I do have it relatively close here and I am speaking right into it. But if we wanted to do voiceover work or a podcast, we could get this even closer to our mouths and it would sound even better. So I've added the windscreen onto this microphone just as a pop filter, and this is what it would sound like if you were using this with a computer, if you're using this as a podcast microphone, if you were using this for voiceover. Right now I have a 1 8 inch headphone jack running to a GH5. It's just plugged directly in right now. But if you were going to use this with a computer, you could plug it in with USB-C and you could send the signal 100% digitally. Now the other thing that I realized that you could do with these two Rode microphones is you could actually use them together. I'm going to unplug this microphone from the camera that's recording the audio, and I'm going to plug it directly into this little transmitter right here. So now I'm sending the signal completely wirelessly to another GH5. Maybe you can hear a little bit of difference. There might be a slight bit of compression, but this still sounds great. Now, obviously I've plugged this in with a really long cable here, but you don't have to. This is such a small unit here. You could use a really small cable that plugs directly into this microphone and you could attach it to this mount here and you could easily use this on a boom stand 100% wirelessly. You wouldn't have to worry about any cables at all. Now, if you're looking for strictly audio quality, obviously these are not the best microphones on the market, but these happen to be the most feature rich microphones I think I have ever used. They're also the most convenient microphones I have ever used. And they also happen to be two of the cheapest microphones I have ever used. I don't think these mics are gonna have any competition for a very long time. And if you're in the market for a new microphone, you can't go wrong with either one of these.